Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be giving a brief overview of what a binary search tree is. And in the upcoming tutorials, we're actually gonna be implementing a binary search tree. So first, let's go over some tree terminology. So let's say that we were given the following tree, for example. These circles are called nodes, and the nodes contain data. So this node has 10 in it, and this node has five in it, and etc. Now these nodes are being connected by these lines, and these lines are called edges. And all an edge is, is a link between two nodes. Now the topmost node within a given tree is called the root node. In this case, the root node for this tree is 10. Now a parent node is a node that has an edge connecting to a child. So using our root node as an example, we can say that 10 is a parent of both 5 and 15. And both 5 and 15 are considered child nodes of 10. Another example would be that 5 is the parent node of both 3 and 7. And 3 and 7 would in turn be both child nodes of 5. Now nodes that are siblings are said to be child nodes that have the same parent. So for example, three and seven will be considered siblings since they both share the same parent. Now moving on, a leaf node is a node with no children. So in our case, three, seven, 12, and 20 are all considered leaf nodes. And that's because they have no children. So everything we talked about applies to trees in general. So what are the properties that our binary search tree should follow? First, a binary search tree should have no node that has more than two children. So a node can have no child node, one child node, or two child nodes, but it can have three or more nodes as child nodes, for example. The second property is that the left subtree should only contain values that are less than it. So for example, if we were to take a look at the left subtree of 10, we can see that all the values within this subtree are less than 10. The third property is that the right subtree should only contain values that are greater than it. So if we look at the right subtree from 10, we can see that all the values within this subtree is greater than 10. So in other words, all that the second and third property means is that the left child's value must always be less than its parent's value and that the right child's value must always be greater than its parent's value. And the final property of a binary search tree is that it should not contain any duplicate values. So if we were to take a look at our tree, you can see that it is a binary search tree. You can see that there are no duplicate values within our tree and that no node within our tree has more than two child nodes. If we were to take a look at our root node, you can see that the left child is less than it. And if you were to take a look at the right child, you can see that the right child is greater than it. And if you were to look down here, you can see that the same implies. You see that three is less than five, so it's the left child. And you can see that seven is greater than five, so it's the right child. And these properties persist throughout our entire tree, hence why it's a binary search tree. So that pretty much wraps it up for this tutorial. And in the upcoming tutorials, we're actually gonna start implementing our own binary search tree. 